it's worth mentioning that even given the same physical environment, sometimes it's useful to define up as positive, and sometimes it's useful to define up as being negative. For example, if I do stand at the edge of a cliff, I'll give two scenarios where I stand at the edge of a cliff. If I do stand at the edge of this cliff, and maybe just for safety's sake, let's put water at the bottom. Okay, just just because we want to have health and safety issues covered here. But if I stand at the, the top of this cliff and I want to know how far up I've gone after one second, what direction would you would be uh, desirable in terms of having positives and negatives? What direction would be positive? Yeah. Yeah, probably if I'm jumping up in the air, I would define up as positive and to the right as positive in that first scenario. And so as I jump up, one second later, I may find myself out here somewhere where the dot is. And so I've gone up so many meters and I've gone forward so many meters. On the other hand, if I look over the edge of this cliff, And as a spear fisherman, I see a shark, and I want to jump into action and get that sucker because daddy's got to eat tonight. I don't want to take time going up. I want to jump straight down. What direction do you want to have as being positive? Down make, make sense here? So I might call down positive. Would I switch the backwards to positive this time, though? No, still keep forward as positive. You know, you got to have some sense about this, right? In this case here, I'm going to be thinking about gravity working against me as I go up. In this case here, I'm going to be thinking about gravity working with me. And so when I do my calculations and things, and as we get further and further into that, I would say if down's positive in, in this particular situation, I'm going to call down positive. And as I do my calculations in this situation, I'm going to make all of the gravity values be positive values. In this one here, if up is positive, I'm going to make all of the gravity values be negative values because gravity is going to be working against me. So you've got to play the strategy game. You know, there's a little bit of strategy with this. That's why I say this is kind of a tipsy type of thing. But it's tipsy stuff that you're doing sort of over and over again. You get good at it, right? You're making strategies up that you're going to reuse again. And we're going to get the shark and we're going to get dinner. All right. I want to leave it there.